Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn about how to uh, calculate network days in DAX. So let's move to uh, the Excel file and the Power BI file which I have created. So first of all, let's move to Excel file. So here uh, you can see that we have two tables. One is employee attendance data and the second one is holidays. So in Excel, it's very easy to calculate the network days, like how many working days are falling between these two dates like uh, the attendance from and attendance to so let's calculate the days here and we will match uh, the output with your with our dax function okay network days correct let's expand expand it a little bit more then apply the network days dot intl function and here we need to give the start date and the end date and weekend and holidays so weekend and holidays are you know optional but a start date and end date are mandatory but now here we need to consider uh, uh, all those parameters so let's uh, give the start date that is the attendance from and end date and that is attendance to and for weekend uh, we need to consider saturday and sunday is weekend so you can consider any of the days and look at the combination like monday tuesday when this is a Friday Saturday but now here I am considering Saturday and Sunday the same I will consider in while calculating in DAX uh, the same like the same weekend the Saturday and Sunday okay so just enter one and the holidays so we have already you know uh, like we have the holidays list in holidays uh, worksheet so let's click uh, select this and select the entire range where dates are available okay just freeze it and close the bracket now you can just uh, double click this to fill handle and just apply the border so see you can see that it's a very easy to uh, calculate network days in excel but unfortunately in power bi there is no network days formula so there are n number of ways uh, uh, like uh, with the combination of couple of functions in dax you can uh, calculate the network days i am going to apply apply i'm going to use one uh, uh, one of the method which we are which i am using while developing a dashboard or calculating the network days whenever uh, we need to okay so let's move to a power bi window so let's select the data view so in data view you can see that i have already uploaded two tables uh, that uh, that both are, both tables are available in the excel file that is one is employee attendance data and then the second one is holidays and in employee attendance data it's all about fixed uh, fictitious contractual employee data right so uh, here it's employee id employee name department attendance from and attendance to so assuming that these are the employees who have worked in, in certain departments from uh, this particular date to this particular date and now we have to calculate network uh, days how many working days you know uh, they have worked right and in holidays uh, let's uh, select the holidays so it's all about the indian holidays like uh, you know holiday name uh, the day date and holiday count so this is all about uh, the holiday list and so let's move to uh, uh, employee attendance data and calculate uh, the network days just go to modeling new column just give the just expand this uh, calculation just give the column name as uh, net uh, network days okay so as uh, I already told you that uh, unfortunately uh, DAX has no network this formula. So we are uh, like I'm going to use one of uh, the best method we are, I'm using. I'm not saying that uh, this is the uh, best method basically. The, there, there can be a lot uh, n number of method with, uh, with the help of that you know you can calculate the network base. But I'm sharing my best practices with you right. So, uh, so let's as we have a start date and uh, like attendance from and attendance to so we need to uh, create a table from attendance one to attendance two uh, let me make it a little bit uh, so we have attendance from and attendance uh, two so for each and every record you as you know that while calculating uh, no, uh, 
uh, creating a calculated columns so whatever the dax formula we are applying except from the calculate function and uh, aggregate function and measure uh, calculate function always uh, works in a, uh, like always do the calculation uh, while iterating row by row okay so as we are going to calculate uh, the network days so we will be we have to consider attendance from and attendance to to uh, create a table like date range table and then we will uh, create two more or uh, additional columns in that table that will be one for like working days and the second one will one for uh you no know, uh, uh the holidays and after that uh with the help of some x formula we will calculate uh, whether uh that is exact working days or not right so let's explain this formula okay and now uh, i have to create a uh, table that is called uh, uh, let's uh, create a table so i'm just declaring a variable where t b l underscore date okay and for tvl underscore date uh, we just uh, need to uh, use the calendar function so calendar function don't use calendar auto you just need to calendar function and calendar function just uh, pass the first argument like the start date is attendance from and the second arg argument is attendance to okay attendance from and comma attendance to so this is the first variable which i have created uh, what we will do the dax of uh, uh, dax uh, this particular the calendar function will create a table with uh, the column name date and that uh, particular table will have only one column that will be date start from uh, the 1st of july for this record uh, to 31st july 2019 for uh, for this record okay and the second column is um, uh, we need to add uh, two additional columns basically in this particular table uh, date one is for uh, working days and second one is for holidays right so let's uh, create another variable that is called you know var tvl underscore final date final date okay and uh, here uh, we uh, are going to use uh, add columns function so add columns and uh, add columns function takes argument as you know table so we have already created the table that is called t tvl underscore date and uh, now we need to add the additional column that is working day so let's you know working day comma so see uh, here we do not have like uh, we need to identify whether the date uh, which we are going to calculate is uh, weekday or weekend so if that is weekday then we will consider yes a one and if that is weekend uh, then we will consider zero so here we are going to apply weekday function okay and then we need to pass uh, the the column name that is you know a date so as i already told you that uh, whenever we create the uh, calendar table so calendar table automatically creates a date uh, uh, date column by default so those the first column will be uh, date column so that's why we are using weekday and date okay and the return type is uh, now you can see that one is uh, for sunday like uh, through saturday and the second one is uh, may uh, monday for one and sunday for you know, seven so we need to consider two because we are going to consider uh, you know, uh, saturday and sunday as weekly off right so as uh, this function will return if if the date is will be saturday and sunday it will return either six or seven so if the return type uh, return will be you know greater than or equal to six then we are going to consider it means that is weekly off otherwise one okay so this is all about all about uh, the uh, one call first column that is a uh, working day function now we need to uh, calculate another another uh, no, uh, another column that is a holiday so let me end let me put enter here over here that will be easy and the second column will be holiday holiday okay 
now we have to apply lookup uh, lookup uh, value function so that it will be you no know, so let's apply lookup value function and the return type will be uh, as in holidays uh, table we need holiday count so we uh, we just need to use the holiday count okay a result column basically and the search column will be a holiday date right and uh, the search value uh, should be in our calendar function that is available in our calendar function that is date so just simple date okay now close the bracket so if there would be any error while you know uh, if the value will not be available then we need to consider zero here so just apply if error and then that's uh, it would be zero okay just uh, enter close the bracket and then uh, return because whenever we declare a variable we just need to use return uh, return keyword to return some values to this particular uh, like network days or whether it's a measure or it's a column but now we, we are calculating column okay so now we have a table which has you know three columns first is date second one is working day and third one is holiday so let's apply some x function some x and uh, the table name is uh, tvl underscore final date tvl underscore final date okay and uh, the condition would be uh, expression basically if working day is equal to one and holiday the second uh, column will be zero then one else zero so if the working uh, day would be one and the holiday will uh, would be zero for each and every line item that is for like uh, the first record it will create 31st uh, no uh, like first to 31st date uh, then and it will consider the this calculation and then it will provide the summation of all those numbers right so this is all about you know the calculation row network days function let's uh, commit this and match our record with excel which we have already calculated so now you can see that it's showing 22 21 and all the days so let's uh, uh, parallelly open this file basically you know and match our functions result uh, with uh, with this one so now you can see that it's a 22 21 10 31 so each and every uh, records are matching with the actual functions and this is all about uh, how to calculate uh, the network days in uh, DAX uh, with the combination of uh, with the help of uh, you know calculate uh, calculate function some x function add columns and all this hope you enjoyed this video uh, thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye